Hello and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover themes. And themes, let's go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro here. You'll be able to find themes on the right hand side here, right next to the inspector tool. And you'll be able to see this, uh, the transition looking on with titles. And basically what themes is, is it categorizes um, your generators, your titles and texts, and your transitions all into one area basically. And then you can find them by category. For example, before we go to all, we're going to go to boxes category. And then for under boxes, you will find the video generator forum, which you can also find under generators tab. And then also you got video transitions here. And all you got to do is just scroll over them to see them animated and see what they do. Then you also got the titles here. Now we're going to go to all. Now what all does is it basically categorizes every single one under one single category. For example, video generators, you're going to have every single video generator from these uh, data, comic book, cinema, bulletin board, and they'll all be found in here. Then also you got the video transitions, and then finally you will have, uh, I believe, titles. Yeah, titles here. And uh, these titles here in particular are called bugs. They're basically, you can see, you can see they're bottom right hand corner. You can adjust it to uh, top right hand corner, bottom left, or top left, and uh, as, you, as you please. But you can tell that these actually animate. I actually used one at the beginning of this video, but it, it appears on my left bottom left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually just going to show you guys these, the themes, and I'm going to use the bug theme. For example, this name one and uh, we're just going to go ahead and drag that right over here underneath our uh, image here. So we're going to go ahead and drag it in. You can have it by itself if you want it, as a, and you can even put it on an image. For example, you can have it by itself, and it will be just a black background. But we want it right over here underneath the image. And as you can tell, just having it selected at the bottom here, it says that it's 10.01 sec, 10 seconds basically. Um, we're going to select it and hit control D that will give us the option to change how long it is we're gonna hit five period and that should add it, change it to five seconds now we got a five second bug title here and if we can play it and it will look like this on our image so it slides in and slides out and it just says name what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this main cursor right over the bug that way we can edit it and see what we're editing I'm going to click on it and go to the inspector tool right hand side over here just to the right of the themes and we're going to go to the title and this is the options for the actual animation you see it builds in it builds out just like this right here this is the build in and then this is the build out We've got the theme blue we're going to actually change that to uh, the pink no i was hoping for red but let's just go with yellow for example as you can tell there we have it <clears throat> no that's too much <laughs> let's go with green and then uh, we want rectangle rounded rectangle you can go arrows that's pretty cool pill yeah let's go with arrows so arrows lower right i'm gonna put mine in a lower left right here just because that's where i normally like to place things bug, bug opacity basically like how how much of a life you can see it and, and uh, basically adjusting the yeah it, it, well opacity is the best word i was trying to think of another word but options also these are uh, media well as you can tell you can import a certain type of uh, uh um text here if you want it done and we'll be able to cover that in a future tutorial just covering the basics here so what we're going to do is going to go to the text and in the text, you can either edit the text here or you can double click on the text itself and edit it here. I'm just gonna edit it right here. I'm gonna put it test, well, we don't want it all caps, test, text. And as you can see, now we've got this little circle. We're gonna edit it around, adjust it a little bit and put it on the title like right here. Now the text itself still stays on it as you can tell right there. And uh, no matter wherever you put the text, for example, you can put the text right here, not even on the animation, and you'll notice that it appears and disappears, just like that. Now, uh, also, we're going to adjust the text a little bit more. We're going to drag it back down here. And from here, you can change the size of the text. You can make it bold, center it, and then also add 3D elements to it if you'd like. You could even make this te text rotate within those arrows as well, which would be even cooler. And then you can add an outline to it, even a glow. And then go to show, and then from here you can change the glow color. We're going to change that glow to red, and uh, we want the blur to increase. That way you can see more of that red in radius. So now you can tell that it's got a red outline in there. 
and drop shadow is not really important but there we have it we have the main text there <clears throat> and the, for the video portion you don't really have to adjust anything here for it yeah you do only effects there's like no not much video to it honestly so yeah we got the title here and as you can see we just have the bug so these all these themes they basically work the same way you, you can drag them drag them in use them as a background picture in picture and then you can also edit them through the inspector tool be sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below i'll get back to you guys as soon as possible thank you guys for watching catch you guys next tutorial and later so let my life be the proof the proof of your